So if you guys didn't know, Boogie has cancer, allegedly. Two years ago, he came out with a video, I have a very rare blood cancer, whatever he called it at the time. And to be honest with you, I'm not shocked because eight months ago, a very small YouTuber already called him out for lying about his cancer. And then about eight days ago, YouTube recommended another small content creator to me about Boogie lying about his cancer. So to be honest with you, I kind of always thought Boogie was lying about his cancer, though I never would say that out loud because to accuse somebody of lying about their cancer is a pretty big accusation. And to be honest, like you're putting your reputation on the line to call somebody out about lying about cancer. You know what I mean? That's a pretty big deal. So the fact that it's out now, the fact that people are accusing him of lying about his cancer, the fact that he refuses to show evidence, let's get into it. So you can see here on Twitter, Keemstar, who's Boogie's friend, Keem is very upset because Keem starts like, you lied to me. How could you do this? Why would you do this? So drama alert reported fake cancer patient deactivates social media because Boogie, after being confronted, deactivated his accounts. It says after Destiny exposed YouTuber Boogie2980 for allegedly faking cancer, Boogie's in the process of, process of deactivating all his social media accounts. Okay, that's him and his daughter. I mean, sorry, his girlfriend. <laughs> Okay, and then YouTuber Boogie faked cancer. According to Destiny, he confronted him on Low Cal Podcast. So the Low Podcast, <clears throat> Low Cal Podcast is Boogie's podcast. Okay, so let's watch this really fast. Two years ago, you said that you had a cancer diagnosis, but now you just said now they're doing a biopsy. To confirmation, check for confirmation, confirmation. Ooh, a babopsy, a babopsy. Le Boogie really dug himself, you know, a hole. Let me tell you. Is this awesome? Are we treating? Are we treating a blood cancer without actually confirming it yet? For two years, you've been being, you've been having a cancer treatment without confirming there's actually cancer there. Because it was in my blood markers, and that's pretty goddamn definitive. You can Google that, Destiny. Ooh, ooh, you can Google that. He says, when you, when you have the hormones, when you have the hormone in the blood that is produced by this cancer, it's pretty goddamn definitive. It doesn't show up for just the two years ago. You said that you had a can. Okay. So that's kind of like the vibe of the conversation. So like I said, interestingly enough, I knew this was coming because a smaller content creator named Johnny Fox made this video. This was posted eight months ago. Boogie lied about his cancer. And basically this content creator, we're not gonna get deeply into it, but if you wanna check him out, Johnny Fox, basically talks about how he's aware of this cancer, that he feels like Boogie isn't explaining the details of experience with the cancer that overlaps with his understanding of it. And he feels like Boogie's lying. Then eight days ago, Almighty CX, also a very small content creator, was also recommended to me, Boogie lied about his cancer. And I'm like, oh my God, this shit's about to come out, right? So then Mudahar made a video, I wanna show you a segment of it that I think would be uh, a good add to the conversation. And then I'm gonna show you a tweet after this because mm, the details of this, okay? So here's Mudahar. So this moment in time, the house of cards, as it was crumbling, people- And yes, Mudahar is, for some reason is sitting in the dark because he is a Batman, so. Well, it started to ask the serious questions. What if Boogie really didn't understand the diagnosis and he just maybe heard the- Okay, so Boogie is nearing 50. So for him to quote, misunderstand the diagnosis, sure. I mean, you know, it happens. Or maybe his doctor got it wrong or maybe, or maybe, or maybe. Look, it's hard to know exactly your own medical history if you're not really paying attention or well-versed. I know so many people who ignore their health, I guess, but ultimately it's just on your paperwork. Does your paperwork say diagnosed with cancer? And I think that's really what we all need to see because ultimately like that's, that's what we're looking for as proof. That's it. Just like, does, do you have cancer? Yes or no? Cause like that's, or maybe you can interview your doctor. I mean, Boogie's a content creator. Maybe his doctor could come and do an interview with him. Maybe, but obviously we're the internet, so we're not owed medical history, but given the context of Boogie basically scamming people with cryptocurrency in order to pay for his cancer treatments. Okay, here's Mudahar. Term polycythemia vera and decided, oh sh I've got a cancer, time to make a video and capitalize on it. And this was brought up, listen to this. Is it possible that next time you see your doctor, you just come out and say, do I have cancer? And he says, well, no. It mm -hmm. could turn into cancer. Is that possible? I, I guess that's possible. So I would have a really strong case for malpractice. 
Why are they always going to suing people instead of clarifying, like, sir, you've said you have had cancer for two years. Do you have cancer or do you not have cancer? Like, sis, it's not that hard. But I guess that's possible. You're saying you're. So this is Keemstar up in the corner here, in case you guys don't recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could have a serious case of malpractice. I think my doctor might be getting <laughs> things wrong. And this is gonna blow your this is gonna blow your mind, okay? When you ask why the doctor might have gotten it wrong, you can't make what you're about to hear up. Listen to this. And that's possible. A person that knows they have cancer would be like, no, no, that is not possible at all. I have cancer. Well, I'm saying I do have cancer and no, it is very unlikely, but I guess it's possible my doctor could be a quack. I guess it's possible he's been lying to me for clout. I guess it's possible that he's been I, giving I, me I don't think I don't think he's lying to you, Boogie. I don't need. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my doctor could be lying for clout. Yeah, your doctor is willing to risk their medical license and their entire career just to troll you, right? For what clout do you gain out of it? Ooh, Maiden says this is the part where I see the vulnerable Narcan boogie. They will often grab onto a diagnosis and any little thing that could gain, I mean, garner sympathy and enablement um, from others as a means of manipulation. Same girl. This is where I start to see the vulnerable narcissist. But the problem is, is like boogie won't get properly diagnosed for anything. Which is also sort of a narc thing to do, which is sort of funny. But I don't know, since we're not mental health professionals, it's not like we can diagnose. But obviously, we've seen other therapists talk about how he probably has vulnerable narcissism, which is interesting, you know, but okay, let's see. And I'm glad his co-host here, Wings of Redemption, jumps in and says, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think your doctor's gonna do that one, Chief. That makes no no goddamn sense whatsoever. But to go back to death- And by the way, to, to be fair, and I don't think this applies to Boogie, there was that case of a doctor who diagnosed over like 500 people with cancer when they didn't have it because he was scamming for insurance money. So maybe Boogie's a victim of a scam. Or maybe Boogie's just- lying like ultimately boogie's lying but it's not like doctors are perfect so also some people recommend getting diagnosed more than once now look for all my problems i've never thought to get re-diagnosed by a doctor if i'm going to be honest with you i don't know how common that is usually you establish a relationship with the doctor you trust them they diagnose you sometimes people switch doctors and go for a second diagnosis but i, I wouldn't say that's very common so for that doctor that scammed his patients and said they had cancer when they didn't it's not like it would be natural for them to go double check with another doctor because a lot of them went straight into chemo, right? So for Boogie's case, even if he went and got a second diagnosis, like he wouldn't think to do it. The question is, did the first diagnosis come back cancer? And look, I'll be honest with you. I've thought about this a lot as somebody who shared her diagnosis process with fibromyalgia on the internet and originally thought it was lupus. And even though I clarified often that it's not confirmed lupus, even through that process, like I always think about how much to share with the internet. And if it was a very big diagnosis, like if it was a diagnosis like cancer and maybe you're raising money for something, not that I think that's always what YouTubers do. Not every YouTuber who has cancer tries to raise money for it right lots of people have health insurance they pay for it it's not a big deal but the fact that boogie in particular uses it to raise money I, and i mean to say this with the most amount of dignity to the human experience i do think you should prove you have cancer i, I do kind of think that if it's a big thing and you're using it to make money i do kind of think you should probably prove it but i also think that it's interesting his audience never needed him to and i i think that's there's something to that a misery chick says my dad's ex-wife had hodgkin lymphoma and lied that she had stage four of a rare type of cancer so she could get more empathy well that's the problem is sometimes people are so excited they're sick so they could like garner empathy and sympathy which is a question is this a lack of introspection or is this a mental illness or is it both and that's the dilemma we're having here is Boogie a one? Can he just not introspect to save his life? Because there are lots of very successful narcissists in the world. Or is his narcissism, maybe allegedly, his narcissism the reason he can't succeed? Or does he have like Munchausen's or some sort of hypochondria? Is he like, is there something mentally like health wise happening here? Or is he just not introspecting to the point where regardless of how much help and how much access he has, he just won't get better. Remember, ones are useless to themselves and their communities. And ones, if you don't know what I'm referencing, is my philosophy system, the levels. It's like in the works. It's not solidified. Relax. But it's my way of categorizing people. Because when I see a boogie, I go one. I just see a person like boogie and I go, that's a one. That's a one. That's got to be a one. And maybe it's not. Maybe it's just like a super mentally ill person and they're completely at the mercy of their mental illness. And in that case, they wouldn't be a one.
they would be a two. Boogie feels like he is more in control than less in control, which makes me feel like he's not eating the cupcake when offered to him. And this kind of coincides, and I think Mudahar is going to bring it up, but let me just spoil it in case he doesn't and I forget. Uh, Destiny and other content creators offered Boogie thousands of dollars to prove he had cancer. And you know how much Boogie loves money? He turned them down. Now, I'll show you a tweet for allegedly why he turned the money down. But keep in mind, Boogie was offered thousands of dollars. Allegedly, Destiny offered $5,000. And allegedly, another YouTuber offered up to apparently like $80,000, okay, for him to prove he has cancer. And he said no. Sounds like a one to me. Okay, let's keep going. Destiny here real quick to finish that clip. Let's go back and see what Destiny <laughs> still has to say when grilling Boogie about his polycythemia vera diagnosis. Hold on, hold this on. is the this, one last thing I have excuse, left. Buddy. You were in my marriage. You guys were in everything else. You're now. How did how did the internet ruin your marriage? This man cannot take responsibility for anything. Everything. This guy is the ultimate goddamn victim. Okay. If he was an Elden Ring boss, he would be Boogie, a victimizer of root, whatever crazy stuff. He never can accept any responsibility for anything in his life. Every aspect of my life. Fuck you. Dude, Let me have one you're, goddamn. You're, thing. You're, you're, can you get your patient portal up on your phone and like send sure. it to Tommy? And I'm not going to. Sure, he's, not, he's never doing that. He does not have a cancer not, diagnosis. Not There's zero percent chance he has one. You just said right. before that you don't have the money for extra medical stuff if they don't need that test to well, confirm just, cancer. Right? You just spend extra heard money on tests you don't need. Have you heard of this, Destiny? I just got a bit of a windfall. What? Might have heard about it. But we had what's a windfall. Was a windfall? He did a ten thousand dollar crypto scam, uh, okay. using partly his uh, cancer thing as an excuse for why he needed to scam his fans. So that's a pretty good point right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how he has to flex his little windfall of cash from the crypto nonsense. So again, I'm not here to judge if he got five or ten k out of it, but the cancer was a true part of that. Okay, like obviously he used Allegedly. the cancer diagnosis and the and the cancer sympathy to to be an excuse for why he ran that on his fans. Now, of course, interestingly enough, going into this as well, too, Destiny brings up a good point. Boogie could easily have countered this by showing a redacted pe Oh, am I still here or did my stream cut out? Hold on, reconnecting in three, two, one. Okay, let's go. Starting again, Boogie came for my internet, bro. He cut off stream. He was like, don't get the truth out there, Brittany. Piece of information, like obviously get rid of all the private stuff for HIPAA reasons and just show an actual cancer diagnosis. Throughout the entire night, Boogie provides no actual evidence, even though at times he claims to be looking at the evidence. Why doesn't he provide it? Well, that's because it would violate his privacy. Listen to this. Here's the thing, because I, I did a stream, you know, because I had people saying, oh, you're faking cancer, Jim. So I showed my diagnosis and stuff like that. I'm going to guess he's working on a system similar to Epic, which most medical people do. Mm -hmm. Um you should be able to go right into diagnoses and it's going to list everything that a doctor has ever said you had. Yep. I just read it to him. Okay. And so it lists the cancer there. Yes. Okay. So you could screen cap that and just show it. I mean, that's what I did. And then that would be the end of it. Mm. Absolutely. And I made the decision two years ago that I would not do that. And I would rather leave the internet than to give the last shred of privacy I have left. I'm well, no, I, and he, here's the thing. I, I understand that this man got naked in a bathtub with his girlfriend for a YouTube documentary, and he won't show us a cancer diagnosis? Ma'am. Privacy argument. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I should have never went public with it. No, but, no, 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 no. no. Oh, let me finish. I mean, you, you can redact information. There's no, there's no issue with that. But just show, I mean, it literally is just a page that says patient diagnoses. Yep. And then it lists what you have. There's, it doesn't yep. tell you who the doctor is. It doesn't tell you what hospital you go to. It literally just says, I mean, to be fair to Boogie, he did technically leave the internet so far. How long will that last? Who knows? The disease name. And I won't be doing that. But he could easily just prove that everyone in the world is wrong for calling out the wrong. Okay, but how wild would this be if he wasn't lying? And I'll get to that in a second. But it's, I think we could all bet that he's lying. But I'll get into why people maybe think he's telling the truth. Wrong cancer. He has the evidence, does not proceed to provide it. 
And it's also really funny, by the way, that other person in the call was somebody on the internet known as Mr. Medicare, a very controversial mm -hmm. figure, but one figure that actually has cancer and somebody who's went through proving that they actually have cancer by showing the diagnoses to the public, right? Because obviously, if you're somebody out there who has basically said they have cancer and you're making money through it and you're trying to earn a living, you know, for the people who you want to leave money for behind, it's probably worth proving that you actually have the serious illness you claim to be profiting from, right? Or at least claiming to people and gaining their sympathy by. Now, I don't know why Boogie says something about, I need to maintain my privacy. Dog, eight months ago, he does this. Dog is listing off the infinity stones of dying. That's what I'm saying. Do you remember during the documentary, he was like, I have this disease and this illness and this. And look, this is why I just want to, I'm going to tangent for a second. This is why it is so difficult, you know, whether or not you should share private things on the internet because people aren't going to believe you. And lots of people do scam people. Look, we live in a world of liars. Human beings, for whatever reason, survival or otherwise, choose to lie. And I don't think Boogie is exempt from this. And I think he's shown time and time and time again that he's a faker. Now, the dilemma we're going to have with this is, whether or not, you know, actually, wait, Chad just said it. John says, but it would be so easy to show fake diagnoses papers. So that that's what I'm wondering too. What if he does prove he has cancer, but it's like fake paperwork? It's like, would we even be satisfied? You know, I think we'd probably be the most satisfied if like a doctor got on screen and like gave their credentials and then, you know, but then at that point, why would they do that? That's the question I always wonder. But again, I think what's important here is that Boogie became the boy who cried wolf. Maybe he really does have cancer, but the villagers don't care anymore. And this is why I don't think lying is good. I think this is why I do not lie about other people. I make it very clear because I don't want to be the girl who cried wolf and Boogie has dug himself a reputation. And this is like the last straw for a lot of people. But to be honest, it was going to be silly to kind of trust him even before this. Diagnosis is, but yet cannot decide to give up some of the very tiny privacy in the situation. You could redact whatever you want and just prove you actually fucking had cancer. The guy literally cannot say it. And when people started mm -hmm. grilling him about like what this cancer was like, this is literally his words about the difficulty his cancer is. Listen to this. It, like you haven't did you very different starter. Things. Did you say starter kit? Like you haven't started having cancer? <laughs> No, it's like the it's the begin it's like the tutorial version of cancer. What, what he's Does saying that make is, sense? The it's the saying, easy one. If you're gonna get one, this is the one you, you want to get. Li you can live forever in this thing. It it rarely kills people. Before it's it's not the really. dark souls of cancer. That's no. And that's kind of what the smaller YouTubers were trying to say. They're trying to say Boogie's lying about his cancer being sort of like I only have ten years. I could die in twenty years. Like most people don't. Most people do okay with the cancer, which is not to say much. It's still cancer. But you see the difference between how Boogie handled his alleged cancer and how Hank Green handled it. Hank Green came out and said, hey, I have a very, you know, digestible and curable cancer. Like I need everybody to calm down. I will get better. I will show you my, you know, my relationship with it. Of course, it is still scary. I think it's always scary. Plenty of people get skin cancer and they're pretty much okay if they catch it on time. So for the most part, we're we're able to have very open conversations about cancer not being a death sentence for a lot of us, right? And so there's always this fear. I think all of us wake up every day and we're like, oh my God, I hope it's not cancer. But as medicine, you know, gets better, let's be honest, like we're doing okay. We're doing better every, every, every day with different kinds of cancers. So I don't know. I think there's something to be said about how he handled it even from the beginning, which is Again, comparing it to like Hank Green's cancer diagnosis, it's obvious when somebody is trying to garner sympathy and empathy in a really negative and I think offensive way. I have seen so many YouTubers with cancer, real cancer diagnoses. I've seen people die on the internet and they have been very humble and beautiful and the journey has been very real and raw and it, Boogie just feels so fake. You know, Boogie just feels so grimy and moochy. He's just so undignified in the whole process. Right. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah, is the, 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 an, it's the animal crossing of cancer. You have the dark souls of cancer. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not even close. The animal crossing of cancer. My God, this guy is the biggest piece of shit I've ever heard. I'm actually getting like heated watching this, to be honest. I'm about to throw up because of how disgusting the situation ends up becoming. Now, at this moment in time, people start throwing money at him. Now, Boogie, who is a scumbag willing to sell his audience. Okay, I'm glad he's going to cover it because I couldn't remember, but here we go, girl. For a minimum of $5,000, 10 k at best, okay? 
when when given almost one hundred thousand dollars, sixty thousand dollars of which put up by me, oh. I was willing to. It's up to a hundred thousand. I thought it was up to eighty thousand. So uh, Mudahar, according to Mudahar, it's up to a hundred thousand because of his sixty. I guess what? Wire it to an escrow account just to get a confirmed diagnosis because I personally Yo. could not believe that I could witness a person who just could not prove they had cancer, especially when they've been grifting off of it. Here's the real question. Does his girlfriend break up with him or not? You try to save women from these men and they still stay. Does Boogie's girlfriend break up with him or not? That's really the question. For over a year okay listen here i think this is what really is the end reason what is the end reason there's i was already i would i would not walk away from my house i would not walk away from 50k I'm i would not walk away that, i would not walk away from an internet career that's going to give you revenue that's going to be are, are, i would not walk away from shitting on these people yeah, and we are proving them wrong. People. we are different people I yeah you're look, being look, you're being ridiculous look, Jim, again since we're not live i can say this i've been looking for an exit plan for a while this is an awful exit plan no, it's a. Piece yeah, of I, I think this is. What really is the end of reason? What is the end of reason? There's, I was already. I would. I would not walk away from my house. I would not. That's a discussion for him. Literally giving up all of that money. Okay, seventy-five thousand to a hundred thousand dollars. All right. Literally just for proving the entire internet wrong about questioning a man's cancer, this man's cancer, mm. and he could earn a lot of money, more money, by multiple amounts more than he than. This is crazy. Wait, Chad is saying she's going to stay. Aaliyah says she's the young chick. She's staying. Damn, bro. When Boogie says he's getting treatment, it's important to remember that this could be a aspirin. Well, to be fair, when Boogie says he's getting treatment, it could just be a doctor's visit. And that's the problem, right? Danny says she's staying. I'm calling it. Bro. I mean, maybe she will. She probably will, to be honest, right? Now, Val says I think he could have just said he was really sick and needed the money for bills instead of calling it cancer. Cancer sounds better. But it's also way worse when you get caught lying. All by the community giving him money. He just proceeds not to do it at all. Now look at the end of the day, this video has pretty much gone on longer than it really needs to. Okay, so that's the part from Mudahar I wanted to cover. And then check this out. So the reason why people are also debating if it's real or not real is there some random tweets going around? I don't know how valid this are. I don't know who Nicholas Dero is. Sometimes I see them on my timeline on Twitter, but I don't know who this is. He said, look, for several hours now, I've been told from incredible sources that Breeson Boogie 2988 hasn't disclosed his medical history. However, due to the importance and sensitivity around the subject, I've refrained from going on it. I don't feel comfortable about it currently. I don't know if he's a troll or not. But then I saw some other tweets and related like Twitter posts from people saying like, oh, like there's a reason Boogie can't come out with it. You guys don't understand. There's like an actual reason. But I haven't seen anything on the internet so far that's like giving me this reason. Right? So I'm like a little confused. And now people are sharing all their cancer stories. And it's just like a whole thing. Right? I don't know. I just don't know. Popular streamer. This is 17 minutes Me. long. Yeah, I, That's why I didn't play. It's so long. This video is 17 minutes of Boogie basically getting railed by all of these people about his cancer diagnosis. It's crazy. So like Boogie's so mad, bro. Boogie's so mad. Let's hear that. Look. It's not funny. It's really not funny. All right. This is real shit, bro. It's really in it. It's really not funny. And XQC is there, Raiders Cat. You're right. XQC is there. Shout out to Felix, our progressive king. This is so funny to me. It's not, it's not funny. I can't tell. Am I allowed to laugh at something so undignified? And ultimately, I think it's because I already figured the cancer was fake just because of the other small content creators that have been, already been talking about it. But the question is, is like, what is he going to do about it? Like, look how angry he looks. Did the doctor ever tell you or did he ever say the word cancer? He said polycythemia vera, which is a form of cancer, as he explained it to me. And no, it is not secondary polycythemia, which is Nicholas Diorio's explanation for this bullshit. So I think it is secondary polycythemia. Um, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say this. To call someone's cancer fake on the internet and then to come at him like a debate bro might be the funniest thing I've ever seen on the internet. Because like in regular society, this would never be okay. This is so offensive, and yet it is so good because we feel like Boogie is a liar. But the question is, is Boogie a liar in this instance? And he could have saved his whole reputation if he just came out with his paperwork. That's what's crazy. It's like they're debate broing his cancer diagnosis. Um, Actually, I think it is. It's like, 
And the only reason it's justified is because Boogie's a liar. In no other circumstance would this be okay. Like, in no other circumstance is it okay to question people's diagnoses. But this is the internet. This is what we do on the internet. We question people's diagnoses. This is crazy. Can you explain? Well, why would he call it Why would he call it polycythemia vera? Why would he tell me that I have hormone mark markers in my blood that tells me I have polycythemia vera? Why does he order a bone uh, marrow uh, biopsy to confirm it? Uh, well, if he ordered a bone marrow, bone marrow biopsy to confirm it, it would be weird that you told us that you already had a mm -hmm. diagnosis and a confirmation. If it because the markers are in my blood, the hormone markers. Interesting. Kay, you said he doesn't know better. I think he genuinely thinks he can squeeze his way through these situations. I think he does too, which is the question. Is that a lack of introspection or is that a mental health issue or is that kind of both? I don't think mental health and introspection necessarily correlate, but I do think there's some obviously give and take in the relationship you're having. Like if you're having a PTSD triggered episode, that's a medical episode. Obviously, you're probably not going to have a moment to be very introspective, though you could be somewhat introspective. But with Boogie, and this is my conundrum with ones and labeling people ones, is you have to be useless to yourself and your community. And I did see it chat earlier saying that, um, like, oh, Boogie's uh, useful to his community. No, he's not. He mooches off his community. His community primarily hates him. They mostly hate watch him. And they literally complain about him. They're literally hoping he gets better. Boogie is not helpful to his community. He's a leech. He's a mooch in his own community. He's a mooch to his own community. He is not helpful to his community. Shout out to Flora and chat. Flora says, I wanted to say thank you for your past advice. Found out in therapy that I have BPD. Learning philosophy has changed my perspective and made me look at myself differently. I'm doing the work. Yes, you are, girl. We'd love to hear it. See, Flora can do it. Why can't Boogie do it? I can do it. Why can't Boogie do it? What is wrong with Boogie's brain? Is it mental health or introspection? What is he missing? This is not a normal person. This is not a healthy, average geek person. This isn't even an average sick person. This is something different. What is it? This is what I love about people. What is this? What am I looking at? What am I observing? I want to know. That's why I made up the levels. The reason I made up the levels is because I was observing behavior in people that I wasn't understanding the category of. What am I supposed to do with a boogie? What am I supposed to do with him? What am I supposed to do with people in my life who are like a boogie? Because they're in my blood. Correct. Destiny. But you said that you'd received a diagnosis, but now you just told me that you got a, a bone marrow biopsy to it's confirm. It's a diagnosis, and now we're confirming. Sure. It's called a confirmation. I, the, so, the hormone markers are already in my blood. Yep. So I think what and happened is, Boogie, based on everything... Biopsy yeah. Because I'm wanting to do that, because I'm praying to God I don't fucking have cancer. Oh, I'm praying to God that I fucking don't have cancer. It's almost like he got told that, like, something's fucked up in your blood, and he's like, cancer. Versus saying, like, oh my God, the doctors think it could be cancer. It's like he did... He made a video stating... I have cancer. That's the problem. The problem isn't that he thought he had cancer. The problem isn't that he jumped the gun. The prop, well, maybe that is the problem. The problem is like he made a video saying, I have cancer. That's the fucking problem. And then he went on for two years saying he had cancer. He doesn't care. I'm, praying to God, I'm taking the one in a million fucking chance that they're fucking wrong. And that there's another reason <laughs> that I have the hormone, uh, the hormone uh, imbalances in my blood. Yeah. Why are you? Val says to not know people were going to question it is definitely a lack of introspection. That's what I'm saying. You have to know people are going to question you. Again, Danny says this used to be the Mr. Roger of the internet. This used to be the Mr. Roger of the internet. It's like, what? That's the part of the introspection that I'm talking about. How do you not know people are going to think this is weird? Even if your bubble is like, oh, we all lie to scam people because we all fake cancer. Um, You still know it's wrong, right? That's the problem. Even with like <laughs> serial cheaters, speaking of which, it's like, how do you not think people are going to think less of you when you they find out you cheat and you don't give a f I don't understand people. How do you not think people are going to think less than you? If you cheat, if you fake cancer, if you, I don't understand you. How do you really think people aren't going to think less of you? Hello? And then you, like, what are you doing with your lives? What are these people doing with their lives? Are you praying to God two years after you said that you have cancer, that you don't have cancer? Yeah, same with Dr. Disrespect. Monster said, do not, do not disrespect Mr. Rogers like that. Yeah, which made me think of Dr. Disrespect, because let's be real, Dr. Disrespect literally thought it's a mistake, bros. Dr. Disrespect was literally in his brain going, I don't know why you would think less of me, bro. It was a mistake. I cheated on my wife and I slid into a minor's DMs. Do you hear yourselves? Do you hear yourselves? Mr. Roger would never. Because two <laughs> years ago, because two years ago, they told me I have polycythemia vera based on the fact that I had increased uh, red blood cell counts 
increased hemoglobin and the hormone markers in my blood. And it all spelled pretty definitively that I have this. And so he wanted to get a bone marrow biopsy, but it is intrusive and expensive. It is. So they decided to forego it. I would like to still get it done because I. My bro, my homie, bro. Yes, it sucks to get your bone marrow checked. Okay, I've seen that episode of House. <laughs> okay, but also, hello. So you didn't confirm you had cancer. You just went with the best guess. Ma'am, no, ma'am, you need a diagnosis. Now, don't get me wrong. I know we're all having conversations about self-diagnosis and autism and other things. That's a very different kind of self-diagnosis than a self-diagnosis of cancer. And I hope we all know the difference. And if we don't, that's okay. We'll do another stream dedicated to that. Self-diagnosing with cancer is not the same. I don't care how much the test is, girl, give it to me so I can confirm I have cancer or not. Do you hear him? I am hopeful. I am praying that there, there's a fucking merciful God of the world that would be willing to let this be wrong, even though it most certainly is not. So why are you talking about expensive cancer treatments that they don't even know if you have cancer? That nothing has been confirmed because yet. It's been two years. they're treating it, dipshit. They're not, how are they been tre treating it for two fucking years. How are they treating it, Boogie? Blood test, blood thinners, bloodletting, medications. Blood letting. They're mm -hmm. trying to get my weight Correct. down. Yes. I'm seeing the doctor every three fucking months. He has that, um, what's that illness people have where they're always like, Munchausen's, isn't it? Where you're always like, pretend you're sicker than you are and you want the attention or whatever. Isn't that what this is? Isn't this like Gypsy Mom? Gypsy Rose's mom? Gypsy Mom. Isn't this like Gypsy Rose's mom? I swear to God, didn't I call him Gypsy Rose's mom like last month? This is exactly what it reminds me of. This is what I'm saying, guys. You know the people in your life who are like this. What do we do with them? This is who I think ones are. Where I'm like, what are you doing? What am I supposed to do with him? How am I supposed to help him? How am I supposed to even, he's had resources. Privileged position, that's what I say, ones? regardless of all the resources given to them, still choose not to eat the cupcake. He could have a serious mental illness. And then the question is, if it is a serious, 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 serious mental illness, well, the, then the medical professionals, like the mental health professionals would have to come in and try to figure out how to help him, right? So I'm doing blood tests mm -hmm. every month. We're, we're doing it. We're... Uh, yep. So they don't so know if you have cancer or not. So like, we can I have hold my fucking hand? Well, sure. So I mean, I can explain. So I can explain. Hold, so I can explain everything, right? So right. Boogie has a condition Go called right polycythemia, which uh, means there's an elevation in his... Polycythemia vera. No. Polycythemia vera. Fuck you, fat fuck. I want to hear a guy that actually knows polycythemia something. Polycythemia vera. Yes, he knows ahead. more about my fucking medical yes. diagnosis yes. than I do. Yes, I hear it. Well, I'm he's... Fuck ahead. I was in the fucking room. My girlfriend was in the See, if I was Boogie and somebody was doubting my medical history, I wouldn't even sit through this. Is he a masochist as well? Like, he is such a little masochist that he just sits there. Like, I would never take this if I knew I was telling the truth. I would just be like, this is not okay. This is ethically wrong. It is immoral to hound somebody with a real diagnosis to prove their medical history. It is also very immoral and ethical to lie about being sick. The, again, the only reason this is even justified is because Boogie's probably lying. But this would be so unethical. If Boogie isn't lying, this is so bad. You can't go to victims of cancer and be like, Are you, do you have cancer? But again, just like with Greg Doucette, I said, we feel good bullying a bully. We feel good tearing apart a liar. We feel good being like, are you a liar? Because it makes us feel better about ourselves. But I do, and I still I still think this is true, like, Boogie has something severely wrong with him, and I think he's probably very low on the introspection scale. Be nice, be nice, okay, Boogie. Okay, yeah, I will go ahead. Okay, so I think that Boogie was told that he has polycythemia, which means he has an elevation of his red blood cells. Now, there is a cancer known as polycythemia vera, which is caused by a mutation in some part of your body that causes an elevation of three different levels of things that you'll find. One of those is uh, the red blood cell count. Um, however, when Boogie was talking about the polycythemia, he mentioned a couple things that I thought were interesting. The first was that taking an exogenous, uh, an exogenous hormone, TRT, testosterone, Testosterone, that that caused a increase in him developing this condition. So taking uh, taking testosterone will not cause you to develop a cancer. That doesn't that, that for not for this particular cancer. It won't. It will cause you to develop secondary polycythemia. The second thing that he mentioned was that his doctor ordered a sleep study. That's because one of the things that can cause your body to produce more red blood cells is if you have hypoxemia, which is an, a lower count of or a low amount of oxygen in your blood for an extended period of time. And the reason why he ordered mm -hmm. that sleep study is probably because Boogie either has uh, either uh, pulmonary obstruction.
Well, the way Boogie is just like, ugh, the mug on his face, though. Mm. Uh, something, or he has. Mariah says, what is Boogie's girlfriend thinking right now? What are any of these women thinking choosing any of the men in this room? I don't know, actually. I don't know who half these guys are. But you know what I mean. Like, what are, what are any women thinking? That's, you know what I mean? But she's probably going to stay just like they stay. As he mentioned, sleep apnea. And sleep apnea, which is a decrease in oxygen overnight, can <sighs> lead to a decrease in oxygen in your blood, which can lead to an increase in the production of red blood cells. Uh, Doc King says, sounds like they considered him having cancer and then ruled it out, deciding not to do the test. He's holding on to them saying cancer once and then not doing the test to still... Um, to say they still aren't sure. Yeah, maybe it's that. Maybe it's like they said, hey, it could be cancer. And instead of getting the test to confirm it's not cancer or is cancer, he just decided not to confirm it isn't cancer and then re like ran with it that it is cancer. All of the things that Boogie described, both the things that caused this and the treatments for it are consistent with secondary polycythemia. Um, none of these yeah. are consistent with... Damn, Discord says if he is telling the truth, he wouldn't sit through it. But I feel like he is just dumb and doesn't have self-respect. So even if it was true, he would stay. If I were there and people were hard on my diagnosis, I'd just leave. I know, bro. I'd be like, peace off out, bro. I'm not sitting through this. With cancer and the fact that he's saying that he's yeah. they've now ordered a biopsy Correct. two Correct. years yes, after. Yeah. He, oh, wait, wait, two years yes, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 let me just finish real quick. Re wait, 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 let me finish real quick. Wait, real quick. Not okay. not yeah. Gangster. Two years beats. ago, you said that you had a cancer diagnosis, but now you've just said now they're doing a biopsy to check for cancer. Confirmation. 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 Uh, wait, is this House MD? Are we what is Boogie think he's proving by yelling the word confirmation? Yes. We need to do this to confirm you have cancer. Treating can are we treating a blood cancer I without actually show. confirming it yet? For two Like, what does he think? What is his brain saying to him? Where he's like, yes, they need to confirm the cancer. Yes, they need to confirm that you have cancer. It's almost like he's saying, I have cancer, and they need to confirm it. Two years you've been being, you've been having a cancer treatment without confirming there's actually cancer there? Because it was in my blood markers, and that's pretty goddamn definitive. You can Stop. Google that, Destiny. <laughs> when you, when you, know. you have the hormones, when you have the hormone in the blood that is produced by this cancer, it's pretty goddamn Ah, uh, Discord said, I feel like he's lying and doesn't understand what the doctors are doing. Obviously not a doctor, but treating cancer every three months seems like a bit odd. I don't even know what the treatment schedule would be for cancer. But whatever Boogie is doing, mmm... Ma'am? Definitive. It doesn't show up for just the shit sakes of it. Can I can I can I say something real quick? Yeah. Look, you have all you have you have all, you, you won't keep saying you're the patient, you know what you have your body has. Yes. But, now look, okay, to be fair, I am an educated ish ish person. My partner is an educated ish person. If one of us, God forbid, were told, hey, you have the markers of cancer, we, because we're sharing a life together, would make every concerted effort to confirm that diagnosis and decide if I'm, you know, what to do with our lives, right? Ultimately, if anyone in my family had any high risk of cancer, we would take that very seriously. And it feels like Boogie isn't very serious about his cancer. And that's what also contributes to people not believing him because he's not really, he's not, he's, he, you know, he's not doing what I think most of us would do if we thought we were diagnosed with cancer, which is also a part of it. Not that people with cancer all have to react the same, but if I thought my partner and he has a girlfriend had cancer like this, we would be very serious. Now, he said his girlfriend was in the room with them. I'm curious about that. But of course, let's be real. A boogie's going to date a boogie. This is why I say it takes two people to be in a toxic relationship, because let's be real. If you stay in a relationship with a boogie, are you any better? Let's be real, girl. Doc, when I go to the doctor, they give me shit like this, yep. which is like papers. Because I was going to say, Boogie can end this whole thing. Exactly Show me a single diagnosis. document with polycythemia vera on it. You don't have one. I don't think the doctor... Yo, Michael, welcome to memberships. Welcome, welcome. I've never diagnosed you with it. And can, I, I, can I ask you something, Destiny? Is it possible that when the doctor was seeing him, they were asking you could have this, you could have polycythemia Cythemia, if I'm saying it correctly, or polycythemia vera, but you like don't have the cancer oh, no. version. You have this version. Correct. There so is own polycythemia. I'm asking, asking him. I'm asking him. Is, is it, it could be like a, a loss of translation type situation? Yeah, yeah. So no. polycythemia just means. <laughs> that question was so funny because he's just like, and Boogie's like the little kid and Destiny's like the dad. And he's like, hey, did your kid maybe mistake a cold for cancer? And Boogie's like, no, no, I, I think it's cancer. And they're like, oh, shut up, Boogie. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, shut the f
Fuck up, kid. Oh, damn. I'm talking to your dad right now. <laughs> it's not funny. It isn't funny, bruv. It isn't funny, bruv. It means you have an elevation of red blood cells. That's all it means. Your red okay. blood cell count is high. And so I you think can it, just be fat and sleep apnea can create Sleep that. apnea could do it. Yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. that could cause it. And the fact that Boogie said, we knew that when I was taking TRT, this was a risk of that. That means that that risk is to develop secondary polycythemia. That was the risk. And then that is what ended up happening, unfortunately. But it's not cancer. That was induced because of just a low oxygenation of the blood. So where, why, explain to me, Destiny, why there are markers, hormone markers in my blood that have tested positively for poly polycythemia vera. Explain if there that. was, then he wouldn't Just have... Just one of your medical years. papers, dude. Yeah, I'm never showing any of these motherfuckers my medical <laughs> This is what I'm saying. He's letting people treat him like a bitch, like a little boy bitch. And this is crazy for a man who's 50. By the way, he's much older than all these people. I think the... I don't know how old these other people are, but Boogie's got to be the oldest one in the room. And he's not being the adult, which also lends itself to being vulnerable narcissism or some sort of like illness. Because I know he had such a bad childhood, you know, it kind of sucks. But also how much of that was true. Now I'm doubting everything. But, you know, it's hard not to with a Boogie. It's hard not to with a Mooch and a Liar. <laughs> oh, fuck yourself. I said that two years ago and I'm staying by it now. Destiny Jackson Clark, Keemstar, you can see it when I fucking die. It's my fucking goddamn right medical record. I've like given you, you every goddamn... <laughs> Do you think there's something about the cancer or the medical? Could there be something in which the medical diagnosis or whatever else? Like, is there something that he genuinely wouldn't want the world to know? Maybe he has HIV. No, that's crazy. See, that's crazy. Like, what would be the thing that would make a 50-year-old man not be able to stand up for himself? But to be fair, he's a mooch and a liar. So... It's like, what? what is that, you know? Phone call. I've given you every fucking text. I've given you, it's never made a single goddamn thing better. I'm not gonna fucking do it. Go fuck yourselves. You could Go easily end yourself. this right now rather, by just showing I would rather you motherfuckers, I would rather you motherfuckers yeah. continue to LARP. I would rather you motherfuckers Damn. continue to LARP. Okay, well, no, 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 here's, a, here's an easy question. The last goddamn thing, uh -huh. the last goddamn you're the one, you're the last one thing, you're the, the thing, you're the one last piece of security I have in the fucking world. So the, so the, the easy, the, the easy thing here is, if there are blood markers that definitively confirm polycythemia vera as a blood cancer, then why are they doing a biopsy? Oh. Because Ooh. I'm insisting on it. Because Drop I'm hoping the microphone. No, no, wait, why would you have to? Oh, he's hoping they're wrong about the cancer, so he's insisting on the biopsy. Oh, he's getting a second opinion. Oh, to insist on a biopsy if you can confirm with a uh, with, with blood markers, it's because you can't. Because I'm hoping that I are wrong. Because if you're I'm hoping, hoping they're, they're wrong, wrong, then why two years ago were you talking about fighting cancer? Why would you be talking about like I have been for two years fighting Justin. cancer? How with been, what with listen. blood thinners? Yo, the gaslighting in this conversation, bro, is insane. Oh, Tiger says maybe he has a mental illness diagnosis that he doesn't want people to see. I mean, we don't need to see his other diagnoses. Like, he can he can blur them all out and just show us the cancer one. <sighs> oh, this one's because, for you, Boogie. Because, I, oh, God damn it. <laughs> you. you treat polycythemia vera almost identically to the way that you treat polycythemia. Because you can't Drunk attack the camp. cancer directly. All you can do is treat the symptoms. And the symptoms are identical to polycythemia. Because it's the same f***ing thing with the exception of one's getting caused by an external source and the other's being caused by f***ing cancer. And in this case, it's getting caused by f***ing cancer, Destiny. So I do think there are different treatments available for polycythemia vera. Um, and I think that the outcomes for that are significantly worse than just having it induced by some other thing like sleep apnea or hypoxia. But I mean, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, the treatment plan is pretty identical. Yeah, the so, treatment plan is pretty identical. So if there were, there are two huge things. So one, you could show it to a private party and they could confirm somebody like Keemstar. But two, the issue is, you know, what's so interesting about this? This happened with um, not to bring up Greg Doucette again, but I just made a video about him and all. Like I talked about this in my YouTube video I put out today for memberships. There was so much about Greg that I just didn't know how to put into my video. So. If you guys want to see more commentary on that, check out the membership video. But one thing I didn't mention at all was one of the reasons he got in a fight with Johnny Shrev was because he told Johnny, like, I don't think you're natural and you keep telling people you're natural. And then it comes out that Johnny, spoiler, wasn't natural. And that kind of lying is just prevalent on the internet. And it's why everyone is so cynical. And it's not like anywhere here, you know, anyways. but like, okay, it's just like very prevalent. But why do people do it? Why would Johnny feel a need to lie to his audience about, about about being natural? Why do people feel a need to lie? This is a very big question we should ask ourselves. And obviously it's about validation and people want to feel like they're a part of a community, right? 
And they want to feel like there's something that they're a part of. So boogie lying is not that abnormal if guys in the gym bro bubble are lying about being natural when they're obviously not. That's what's crazy. You're obviously not natural. Like you're obviously not natural. And then for it to come out later that he wasn't natural anyways is just why would you even, if you know it's not true, you know it's going to come out. That's why Sketch was so, that's why Sketch's like apology was so beautiful or his statement was so beautiful. He was just like, yes, it's me. I did it. It's me. I, I had sex with, you know, like that was beautiful to see. If you know you're lying, why even take the, this is why lying sucks. Lying is bad for you, me, the community. Don't lie. That if you want to keep your medical issues to yourself, I think everybody is entitled to that right, obviously. But if you're going to come out. I should have out... never talked about it to begin with. I should have never talked about it to begin mm. with. Well, hold on. This, this, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, 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 hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Bro, stop. Me. Hold this on. The reason I was going to do a GoFundMe was <gasps> because they verify for the record. They verify. They verify. Oh, so you were going to do a, a GoFundMe? But you didn't because they verify? Is that what I heard? Did I hear that right? Oh, I, I, that would be the third party that I would Yeah, go so GoFundMe does not do the best verification, as has been proven multiple times in the past. True. Um, but the issue is that you say that you you wouldn't have, you shouldn't have talked about it, but the fact is, is that you did. You did the day that you got the diagnosis. You were like, well, I was considering doing this, but I just got my diagnosis today. So no, you weren't considering, you did it instantly. I sat on it for a while. I sat on it for a while. Wait, I on your on tweet, did you not say that I got my diagnosis today? See, that's the problem with a liar, and that's the problem with YouTube branding. So did Boogie actually share the diagnosis the day he got it? Or did he just say that for a more sensationalized tweet? That this is the girl? And then talk about it? <laughs> I, they told me, okay. They told me in the office that they were worried about it. Then they did the blood tests. Then yes, I did tweet about it on the day that I got confirmation. But I sat on it for a couple of months before, uh, or for a couple of weeks before talking about it because it took a while for us to get the blood results. So you sat on it when I'm, you didn't know the answer? That's not called sitting on it. That's just called waiting for an answer. Also, if you were so- I, Bro, I feel like he's gaslighting the f out of everybody. Do you, this is, when I deal with people like this, this is what I mean. This is a one or this is a severely mentally ill person. So are we punching down right now? Here's the ethical question. Is this unethical what people are doing to Boogie? Because if this is a mental illness, then this is unethical. If this isn't a mental illness and this is his own introspection issues because he won't face himself, then it's kind of fair. He's just a 50 year old who won't own up to his own responsibilities. That's what I'm, that's the problem with introspection and mental health is like, what is happening here? Maiden said he is deaf a one bro. I'm telling you, this is like a perfect, this is why I'm saying like, I know people were like, oh, Brittany, Brittany's like a horrible person. She thinks people can be ones. Um, You also hate them, bitch. You also hate them. And also it's not about hating them. It's about radically accepting that somebody has to be this part of the population. Somebody has to be boogie. And if you think you might be a boogie, get your shit together. But somebody's got to be a boogie. And it looks like boogie's going to be the boogie. Mm hmm. Danny says we are so punching down. Damn. See, I feel bad about that. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Maiden said, I don't think he's mentally well, but I don't think it's the sort of mental issues we can hold him accountable for his life. I, I agree with that, too. I don't think he's mentally ill in a way that's actually the reason why he's doing this, I actually think that's his introspection issues, which is why I think he's a one, in my opinion. You know, Chrissy says it's not unethical because people are just trying to hold him accountable. It's not like he's being bullied. They're just showing him to his face that is own, his own BS. True, true. PG says, I think he's stuck in his trauma. Like he won't let it himself leave it. Well, that's, that's the loop of trauma, right? That's the problem with the introspection is, that's why therapy is so hard for people. That's why life is so hard for people. Because you are your own worst enemy. Yes, what people have done to you is painful and it impacts you. But ultimately, like, a lot of healing comes with facing yourself. Caitlin says, riddle me this. If it's mental health, but you don't try to get better, is mental health a valid reason to be this way? That's why I think the levels, when I talk about philosophy and therapy needing to go together, this is what I mean. I mean to say mental health is great, therapy is great, but what good is it without values and in, in, in philosophy? So, like... With Boogie, right, ultimately there is a part of him that is probably mentally impaired, maybe not even mentally ill. Remember, mental illness is not the way we think about it on the internet. He probably doesn't have a mental illness, but he's probably mentally impacted by his trauma, which is different. I don't have a mental illness, right? Like a lot of us don't have mental illnesses. We have diagnoses of a mental health crisis in which we've gotten therapy for it, right? Personality disorders and all these other things, they're not mental illnesses. So like, I don't have a mental illness, but I have a mental health crisis or I did that is now in remission. But like Boogie probably doesn't have a mental illness. He probably has learned behavior because of trauma 
And then the question is, can he face himself and realize you've learned this behavior and you can unlearn it? I don't think Boogie has a mental illness, it, like a, like schizophrenia or, you know, something like that that's impairing his brain. I think he has a learned behavior disorder that is causing him to loop. And because he won't face himself or be introspective, he won't also heal from that learned behavior. That's what I think it is. As a person who's not a therapist and as a person who's just a person, that's what I think it is. And that's the difference that I think is so important here. Learned behavior is very powerful and it will stop you from getting better. It will stop you from admitting you're a liar. It will stop It will stop you from admitting you're wrong. It will stop you from facing yourself. Like the habits we learn in life could be the habits we die by. If you were so keen on diagnosing whether you had cancer or not, why would you Why would you wait two years to get the biopsy? I don't know if you've ever followed my Twitter before, but I tend to tweet shit as it happens. This one I saw at Real time. Oh, so he sat on it, but he also tweets things as they happen. Oh. Maiden says vulnerable narcissists need to take responsibility. That's part of the healing. If it's to happen, I don't think punching down, it's punching down to hold him accountable. You know what I, why I don't think it's punching down? Because he's saying these are his values. So I hold people to their values. I can't hold people not to their values, right? So when I say I hold people accountable, you can do it by society's values or their own values. And I think within society, we have to hold him accountable for the way that he scammed people. But then personally, he himself has said, like, these are my values. I don't want to hurt anyone. Okay. We'll stop hurting yourself then. News, motherfucker. I don't understand why yeah. you're waiting. I don't understand style. why you wait two I years. Style of cancer yeah. diagnosis. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, there is no cancer. Cancer's pretty Secondary serious. polycythemia. There is no cancer here. Um, there's no proof of it. You can't show anybody proof of it because it's not real. And uh, yeah, well, I don't I know. As somebody that like his mom it. had cancer, I, it's just a little bit gross. I feel like when people are talking publicly about fighting cancer. Who and stuff. is the person that faked cancer before the chick? So many, so many people fake so many things. You know who I'm talking oh, about. Oh yeah, I uh, only had cancer once, Yahoo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, that's a vintage meme. No, that's that's classic. That's a vintage. Was See, it an Emily from RuneScape or something? There's so many people that don't know that meme right now. Yeah. Can, can I ask Boogie, is it possible that you just jumped the gun on um, releasing your diagnosis thing? No. Yes. You don't think you jumped the gun a little <laughs> bit? <laughs> Anything is possible, <laughs> sure. I, I just Anything don't understand why you won't just go grab a piece of paper and just disprove them. Because like, I don't have, have all these feelings. Like, they have, they he has have nothing with those words on it. Number two. And like I said a year ago, when these motherfuckers tried to oh, get hold, hold, hold on, hold on. This is the this one is, last thing I have excuse, left. You motherfuckers were in my marriage. You guys were in everything else. You're in every aspect of my life. Let Who me have one goddamn what you, guy. You're trying to tell me it. This is just such a bad reason. Like, Boogie, I'm sorry. Like, this is, this is so exhausting. I'm emotionally drained. But this is the problem with Boogie, to be like, you're in every part of my life. Like, this is the one part you're not going to have. Honey, it's kind of the most important part for us to have. We could have gone without anything else. But at this point, and again, like I said, if we had never known Boogie was a liar, if we had never caught him in a lie before, Hounding him about his cancer would be very unethical. So again, because he shared everything else, now we kind of have to know the last thing because the last thing is the biggest thing. But also now we can just make the assumption based off the evidence at hand that he's probably lying about his cancer. Look, we don't know that for a fact. Truthfully, not you, not me, not anybody on this panel knows for a fact that he faked his cancer. But given the evidence... It feels very unlikely. And if I had to take the bet, I would say he probably doesn't have cancer. But see, but see, I still don't know. I really don't know. And that's the problem, the difference between knowing and believing. I believe he doesn't have cancer, but I don't know that. Sure, though, tomorrow, that's with everybody. weed, Boogie lies about cancer than to find, hand this shit over to you pieces of shit. That's, How that's about just, this? I'd rather can do you that. Get, I'd rather can you do get that. Access Go ahead, print it, Dick Turtle. Go ahead and print True. Leechin says faking cancer on the internet is so common now. I barely phased by it. Me too. I'm going to be real. Excuse me. People are such liars. People are just like, everyone lies so much at this point. I'm not even shocked. Like if people are going to lie about grape, you think they're not going to lie about cancer? Like people lie about so many things. People abuse their children. You think if people are going to abuse their children, they're not going to lie about cancer? It's just shocking when you think boogie. Because like people think, used to think very highly of him. They don't think highly of him anymore. Can you get your patient portal up on your phone and like send sure. it to Tommy? And I'm not going to. He's, ne he's sure, never doing that. He does not, not have a cancer diagnosis. There is 0% chance that he has one. Every, remember, every leading thing for this cancer diagnosis the doctor talked about has to do with secondary polycythemia, mm. the sleep apnea was a contributor to that, and the TRT oh, was a contributor oh, to that. Firstly, 
Oh, except for the hormone markers in my blood. Except for yeah, but if you had hormone blood. markers for it, that's either a definitive diagnosis, in which case you wouldn't yes. be getting a biopsy two years later, or it wasn't definitive, and you would get an, you would have gotten a biopsy two years later instead of saying they're treating you for cancer for two years. You just said before that you All don't right. have the money for extra medical stuff. If they don't need that test to confirm cancer, well, why just, would you spend know, extra money on a biopsy you don't need? I don't know if you heard of this, Destiny. I just got a bit of a windfall. Ooh, might have heard about it. Yeah. Is that the, I don't get that comment, the windfalls, I regard, I guess that has to do with the crypto, I don't get it. Let's see, Maiden says, I do think perhaps everyone should stop engaging with him, stop giving him, uh, I think they call it a supply, like a narcissistic supply. Conrad says, I agree, it's called attention, Kanye and him both act for attention. Yeah, extinction is the best way to treat him. Yeah, probably, like the best way to ignore um, him is probably ignore him. Boogie feels like somebody who gets high off the idea of being diagnosed with anything, so he can be that stereotype person that conservatives talk about on the internet. Oh, they just want to get diagnosed for sympathy. They're talking about boogies, guys. Look, conservatives, liberals, we all know a boogie and everyone is afraid of a boogie because if you get a boogie in your life, they could ruin your life. They will ruin your life. Remember his wife divorced him and said he was abusive. I believe her because I feel abused right now watching this stream. You may have Might heard of it. We have, what's yes, that, we, what's, what's he, he did a $10,000 crypto scam uh, yeah. using partly yeah. his uh, cancer thing as an excuse for why he needed to scam his fans. Um, but I, I just want to, I, I want to, <laughs> I want to join real quick it because like you just got caught lying to, uh, about me sure. to call oh, me yeah. silly. It seems like a lot of sure. right. to go through. And no, now, yeah. now, and now I you're being confronted. Exactly and now you're exactly being confronted on one of the biggest lies on in internet I history. I don't, I don't I can't can't it. And you won't prove it? No. You won't no. prove it? I'd rather if, you go ahead and print it. If this is true, if this is true and you lie about cancer, this is the biggest scandal on the internet. It's not, but go ahead and print it anyway. Go ahead and print it anyway. I pretty much prove it. None of you mother. Years ago and I'm not Damn, doing it all his friends, everybody's turning against him. Because remember, it's like you try to vouch for your friend and then you realize like, holy f I believed you. And that sucks. That's a that's a very painful feeling. Go right ahead, print it. Print it the way it is. To summarize, Jesse, you're basically saying he's kind of unlucky he doesn't have cancer. Um, I mean, for this particular case, yeah. I mean, if you <laughs> yeah. want to, I'll do this. If yeah, Boogie's pretty unlucky that he doesn't have cancer. Because if he had cancer right now, he would look so good right now. Like... Destiny would look like the biggest asshole in the world if Boogie has cancer. But Boogie probably doesn't have cancer. So he looks like the biggest asshole in the world. If Boogie can confirm, that he, if Boogie can confirm that he has polycythemia vera, <laughs> um, and he actually oh. has like a... Sorry, yes, Tiger says people have fake cancer, set up whole charities, walkathons, events. Oh my God, guys, I have seen the craziest cancer scams. People are not above scamming everybody in their life. Doctor confirmation of the blood cancer. I'll throw five thousand dollars towards this medical treatment. I'll make that personal pledge right now. Ten thousand. You're not seeing my medical records for twenty. Not for fifty. You're not seeing my medical records. Five grand. I said this. I said I'm gonna get it. You leave your own medical history, but you won't. You won't leave Just remember. Okay, so then I just want people to remember in the future. Then when Boogie says I have to do X Y Z scam to raise money because my medical bills are hurting so much, he can speak publicly about his medical issues to scam his fans to raise money, but he can't take five thousand dollars to privately confirm a diagnosis that he already publicly said that he has. I sure says it's not about whether or not Boogie has cancer; it's whether or not he has a diagnosis and he doesn't. If he gets the biopsy and it comes back positive it wouldn't matter true because well it would matter to boogie but it wouldn't matter to us because that's true like if boogie d like gets a biopsy and does have cancer it would be for him proof that he had it all along but because the world wants to know if he knows for a fact he has it right now and he doesn't know that then it wouldn't matter even if he came out with cancer now you're right that's like that's very true now to boogie though i think it would just solidify in his mind that he'd he was right all along. Even, even, I, even I, even I have a f limit. Even I have a f limit. What's the limit, though? It's, yeah, it's I, I mean, I think you can probably right, understand right, that he, uh, nah, you know, there's a, a big nuts. history of people, I guess, scamming people with cancer, and it's like the worst of yep. the worst. Mm -hmm. And you're getting confronted sure. with that right now when your exactly. response to that is yep. not uh. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not. I'm not Go going ahead. ahead. I'm just. Sure. I'm, I'm explaining sure. to you. Go ahead. Go right the. Ahead. I'm not. I don't care. I'm, what am I? I'm not going ahead with anything. You try to. He's speaking to you. No, I'm saying. Right, I'm trying to explain to you why why care. we're in this situation is just that Boogie, people view this as one of the lowest things, if right? You, it's about as bad as it gets. You have polycythemia vera. Why aren't you just trying to disprove that other than them making you look like you're? Because two years ago, because two years ago, I'd rather that. 
then the, why, why would you the last that? That's so stupid. This is the last thing I have is my medical. All right, do you care about this anymore? If I hand this over, if oh, I, I hand this over, off. I've given over no, literally so every goddamn thing. Okay. What if you give it directly to Destiny himself? I, I mean, because mm. it's, it's funnier if so we just yeah. hang yeah. up on them. Maiden says, I do think narcs in general are wounded and scared little children running around in adult bodies with adult responsibilities. Yeah, obviously, that's really true. If he is a vulnerable narcissist, if he did have problems in his childhood that contributed to this whole situation, he's kind of shutting down right now, obviously. And it probably is to some extent like bullying a kid to some extent, you know, but I do think there is a way to hold uh, victims of childhood abuse accountable. And I think it's uh, in relation to their values. Right. And obviously you can't hurt other people in the process just because you've been hurt doesn't mean you can hurt other people. It's just an explanation for why you thought it was okay to hurt other people. Right. Now, is this Boogie's rock bottom? I don't think so. I think, well, I think it's not because Boogie lives in rock bottom. Like Boogie lives in rock bottom. So I'm not sure that this is Boogie's rock bottom. I think Boogie just lives there permanently. Medical records. Oh, yes, and you know what? This might have turned out differently had he messaged me the night before. And we had <laughs> oh, if you had messaged me the night before, I would have shown you my papers. But since you confronted me on my panel, no papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You wouldn't have nagged him for a whole what? night not to come out. Why I think the whole night was <laughs> right now just the confirmation? Because I don't know. I have no okay. idea. All right. Well, hey, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, cool. We'll see you guys Take later. Care, thanks for Bye. Thanks for coming out. Thanks, man. Good night, guys. Damn, bro. That tells me I have polycyte. Okay. So that was the confrontation, right? Crazy. So now, of course, people are sharing their cancer stories and how much this impacted their families. And I think ultimately, I don't think any of us are surprised. Like I said, there were YouTubers going around like eight months ago talking about how Boogie lied about his cancer. So I'm not that shocked but i also isn't confirmed i just believe i don't know that he doesn't have cancer i do believe that he is lying much like he lies about everything else in his life and i do think that boogie primarily lives as a mooch and i think he's a one i think he's a perfect level one i just think no matter what you do boogie will not eat the cupcake i think no matter what you do he will not get help for his problems and again i'm trying to think of like who would be the person to help a boogie and i do think part of the population will always be a boogie i just think it's really 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 rare the fact that i keep saying everybody knows a boogie in their life and the fact that y'all like are saying in chat like i don't know a boogie is a beautiful thing to see and i always say ones are a very small small part of the population because i would say i've met like three ones in my whole life like personally maybe four, maybe five, but definitely about three up to five in my whole life. And I've met thousands of thousands. I'm, I'm a very social person. I spent my whole 20s socializing. I have tons of cousins. So I think Boogie is a perfect number one. I think that when I say level ones, this is what I mean. I, I mean, there's something seriously wrong with a person who cannot introspect enough not to lie about cancer on the internet. And again, I do not think he has a mental illness enough to explain his decision making. I think he genuinely can't like do something different. Like think about all the twos that scam for cancer. They're being deliberate and thoughtful. They're not even doing it because they're ones. They're doing it because they're like, Fuck it, I'm going to scam people. I think Boogie isn't even introspecting enough to realize he's scamming people. Do you get what I'm saying? I think if you really look to the way Boogie's brain probably works is he's not sitting there at the computer like, mah, 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 mah. I'm going to take over the world. He's sitting here like, what else can I do but hit my head against the wall? That's all I can do. I must hit my head against the wall. And I'm like, you can do something else. And he's like, no, I must hit my head against the wall. And I'm like, okay, okay but like turn around. And he's like, no, I must, you know what I'm saying? Versus a two might be like, I could hit my head against this wall or I could hit my head against somebody else's face, you know? And then like, you know, it's like Boogie doesn't know. He can't introspect enough to actually think you you could, if you're going to scam people out of money, you might as well do it well. You know, he's not even doing it well. It's like, you know, what's that scammer? FTX? No, FTX. What's that big scammer that just like scam people and he went to jail. He got curly hair. It's like he's not a one because he's a scammer. He's obviously very smart. He scammed people out of a lot of money. Bernie Madoff and all these other people, they're not ones because they're scammers. They are they can introspect enough to be like, I'm gonna be a scammer. But Boogie can't even introspect enough to be a good scammer. Diet says, I hope he never has kids. Ew, I hope he never has kids, bro. That'd be wild. I mean, his girl could get pregnant, I guess. Ugh, what are you gonna do? Kids are born every day into Boogie households. Let's be real. Kids are born every day to Boogies as parents. That's what I mean to say. Like most parents are bad at their job. I'm sorry. And most parents who are good at their job still 
stuff. And that's not to say you shouldn't be a parent. It's to say, just so you know, your kids will probably come to you at one point and be like, you could have done this better. But that's what breaking generational curses is. is. Because there are kids who are going to be born into boogie households. There are kids born every day into households with parents who don't prioritize them. So let's hope boogie doesn't have a baby. Even with trauma, you can get better. You can get healthy. If your parent sucks, that doesn't mean you have to suck. Even if you suck for a little while because your parents sucked, you can be so much more. Danny says, didn't Boogie say he'd been abused as kids if he ever had? Yeah, Boogie said he had been abused as a child, that he had really a hard upbringing, all of it, right? And I'm not saying that's not true or untrue. The problem is I don't know, but also it probably is true right? To some extent, it could be an explanation for the bad behavior or it could be an excuse. And I just don't know the difference. Like I can't tell with a boogie. So that's why I think it's a one because guys, people are abused all the time by their parents. And though it explains their bad behavior, eventually those people are introspective enough to get better. And that's the difference is like, why isn't Boogie with all of his resources able to make that next step? Why isn't he able to do it? Because even people with really fucked up backgrounds, eventually with the right resources, make better decisions. That's why we're trying to get people resources because most people just need the resources. That's why ones are so unique because regardless of the resources given, they can't get better because most people do get better with the right resources. So maybe Boogie's never had the right resources or maybe he's had the right resources, but the wrong attitude. QE says, what if you have enough introspection but still won't do better, get better? That's a great question. Can you introspect your way into stagnation? I do think you can choose to stop introspecting. I think you can always choose when you're done introspecting, extrospecting. Like even if you get to level five, you can choose to stop introspecting and not go further. I think there's always and never an end goal to introspecting. So there's always introspecting to be had, but you always can choose to stop. So maybe Boogie gets to the point where he's introspected and then decided not to introspect anymore, which is a decision he can make. You know, I think introspection is a tool and I think you have to utilize it. And when you're not utilizing it, you make bad decisions. And I think that they tend to be decisions that are less mistakes and more like choices. And I think when you're introspecting, uh, you're probably better off making uh, some pretty good choices. I just think when you're not introspecting, there's a higher probability for mistakes and or decisions to be made that are bad. But see, it depends. That's a very complicated kind of thing. It's again, it's hard for people to have to know. That's why I love categorization. Are you the person whose story is that you just genuinely don't know and you need the right tools? Are you the person that regardless of the tools, you're going to do bad things? Why? Because why is a very strong question that is very difficult to answer. Why would you do this? Why would you feel this way? Why would you come to this conclusion? Why would you justify bad behavior? Why would reasonable, rational human beings choose to cheat on their partners, abandon their children? Not, you know, why would they choose to be boogies? Why would they date a girl half their age? Why do people do these things, right? I don't know. There is a reason, but for every single person, it's gonna be a unique, specific reason. And that's why usually it's trauma-related or environmental um like something you learned from your environment is some habit you formed. And so that's why I say like, well, why did you do it? Everyone's story is different. I talked about this a little bit on my memberships videos for, or I posted it today. If you guys wanna check it out. But I talked a little bit about this, how, you know, even though we all agree on the conclusion, like Boogie's a liar and he's probably lying about cancer. The question of why, some people think, oh, he's just a, a loser. Oh, he's a pathological liar. He's a narcissist. I wanna know why. Not about Boogie, but about anything in life. And we don't know why. We all agree on the conclusion, but the why is gonna tell a different story. So I don't know which one Boogie is. I don't know if he's lacking introspection, though I think that's my answer, right? He's a one. I don't know if he just has a mental illness or a cancer tumor in his brain that's causing it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But that's what I'm curious about. That's why I will never be bored, girl, because we will never know every single person's why. But that's what I mean by introspection, extrospection. Do you know yourself enough to know why? Why do you like a drink? Why do you like to do your job? Why do you like your boyfriend? Why do you do this? And then is it a good reason? Is it healthy? Should you keep doing it or should you do something different? Change is hard because you first have to figure out why. It's hard enough to figure out in our own lives why we do things, let alone in a stranger's. When I say being a whole human being matters, it's because all of these things in conjunction give you the best toolbox. Knowing your physical health, spiritual health, financial health, knowing your mental health, understanding who you are in the story. If Boogie understands his mental health, but has no like value system or spiritual health or understanding of his values, like what good is that? And so for some people, it's good enough for all of humanity, right? It's good enough. All of humanity has kept going on people being bare minimum. 
But if you want to be a little bit more than bare minimum, which I recommend, that's a very difficult road to, you know, go down. It's very embarrassing. But you know what's weird is that Bookie doesn't mind being embarrassed. Why is that? I would be mortified if I was him. But I'd be mortified if I was half these guys. Let's be honest. I'd be mortified if I was chronically cheating on partners and acting like it wasn't a big deal. I'd be mortified if I was spreading STIs. I'd be mortified if I was getting people pregnant. I'd be mortified if I was just like getting abortions like birth control. I'd be mortified if I was doing a lot of the things I see the internet do. But people do it all the time and people just kind of like move on with their day. Why? Probably because my values. So does that mean Boogie doesn't have any? Does that mean these people don't have any? Probably. I don't think Trump has values. I think Trump is pro-Trump. I don't think he actually has values. So he doesn't care. As long as Trump wins in the end, he doesn't care. Bill says, I think that's just his normal. Hey, when it's your normal, it's pretty comfortable. (laughs) Talk about holding yourself accountable. I want to watch my old work on gender and see if I agree with myself or not. And I thought that'd be fun to do it together. So let's see, do I agree with past Brittany about gender? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Let's find out.